India is home to a large variety of animals. It is a biodiversity hotspot with its various ecosystems ranging from the Himalayas in the north to the evergreen rainforests in the south. The desert sands of the west to the marshy mangroves of the east. India is one of the recognized megadiverse countries of the world. India's forest lands nurture about 500 species of mammals and 2,000 plus bird species. This richness of Indian wildlife has been celebrated since time immemorial. India provides shelter to several well-known animals, including the elephant, rhinoceros, leopard, snow leopard, clouded leopard, sloth bear, the Himalayan black bear. It is home to big cats like Bengal tiger and Asiatic lion. Reptiles like King Cobra, Indian Python, Reticulated Python, and Gecko are common. Birds include Peacock, Great Indian Hornbill, Painted Stork, Greater and Lesser Flamingo, and Eurasian Spoonbill. The following maps show the biodiversity hotspots in India. The Himalayas, the Western Ghats, the Sundalans, and the Indo-Burma region. The cold desert is the home of rare endangered fauna, such as the Asiatic ibex, Tibetan argali, wild yak, snow leopard, etc. Of the 140 species of known birds, the great Indian bustard is a globally threatened species. More of the endangered species include Bengal tiger, Asiatic lion, black buck, black panda, one-horned rhinoceros, Kashmir Red Stag, Nilgiri Tar, Lion-Tailed Macaque and Indian Bison. For India, conservation of biodiversity is crucial not only because it provides several goods and services necessary for human survival, but also because it is directly linked with providing livelihoods to and improving socio-economic conditions for millions of local people thereby contributing to sustainable development and poverty alleviation. An example of a benefit derived from biodiversity in India is reflected by the forest sector, which is increasingly being looked upon as a major performer in poverty alleviation programs. India's forests neutralize nearly 11% of India's greenhouse gas emissions. Nearly 200 million people are dependent on forests for livelihood in India. The following maps show the locations of wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, and biospheres reserves in India. The fauna of South Africa is diverse and largely typical of the ecosystems in Africa. South Africa is ranked sixth out of the world's 17 megadiverse countries. Many endemic species are unique to South Africa. The country is among the world leaders in conservation, but at the time wildlife is threatened by poaching and canned hunting. In the extreme northwest of the country is True Desert, which is the southernmost end of the Namib Desert, a desert that is at least 55 million years old to making it the oldest desert in the world. There are over 100,000 known species of plants, animals, and fungi in South Africa. Scientists believe that there are at least another 50,000 species in the country that have not yet been discovered or named. South Africa is remarkable in that, for a relatively small country, it is home to three of the hotspots the Cape Floristic region, the succulent Karoo, shared with Namibia, and the Maputaland Pondaland Albany hotspot, shared with Mozambique and Swaziland. 
South Africa has a wealth of small antelope species, such as the Clipspringer and Cape Grace Bach, Common Diker, Blue Diker, Steenbach, and Oraby. There is a small population of hippos in Cape Town. Both the white rhinoceros and the black rhinoceros occur in the country. There are 299 mammal species in South Africa, of which two are critically endangered, 11 are endangered, 15 are vulnerable, and 13 are near threatened. 20 species have been confirmed extinct, mainly due to agriculture and utilization. Apart from rhinos, there are many other endangered animals in South Africa like Pickergill's reed frog, Cape vulture, cheetah, Africa wild dog, blue crane, river rhine rabbit, yellow-breasted, white-tailed rat, Cape wild dog and many more. These maps show the national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in South Africa. South Africa is renowned for its varied topography, great natural beauty, and cultural diversity, all of which have made the country a favored destination for travelers since the legal ending of apartheid. This all would be impossible without the wild buddies, the gift from Mother Nature,